one year of intensive use of gaming and video editing on this laptop that is plugged 16 hours per day. You're curious about the performance, right? There's a lot of question here like what has changed, is it still worth it, and most importantly, how is the device performing now? And I'm gonna answer that on this overview of Asus Tough A15 gaming laptop after one year. For the reference, let me quickly tell you about my laptop specs. Intel Core i5-11400H processor, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 4GB laptop GPU, 24GB of DDR4 RAM, 512GB of NVMe SSD storage, the display is 1920x1080p with 144Hz of refresh rate, and the battery is 48Wh which is the lowest variant for this laptop. So let's start. What has changed? On appearance, it's just getting smudgy because of fingerprints. The keyboard backlit is still bright, no lighting fading at all, the stickers are still intact, and the metallic surface pattern still has its texture design. Overall, there's no scratches or dents even though I'm using it every day for the last one year. As for the functionality, the keyboard still works 100% fine, and the prints on those keys doesn't have any sign of fading. Every port still works the same, the charging port, Ethernet LAN port, HDMI port, 2 USB Type-A, 1 USB Type-C which supports Thunderbolt and audio jack. On the other side, it only has a Kensington lock and 1 USB Type-A. The speaker still sounds the same and touchpad is accurately working well since day 1. As for the performance, about the battery life, first let me tell you something. Don't always expect that the promoted battery test is accurate. It's actually misleading because those tests are running on strict settings which is totally different from our daily use. As for my Asus Tough A15, again, this is plugged in most of the time, but I'm starting to use it remotely and get advantage of its portability. So with some changes on the settings and adjustments like 50% of brightness, low power mode on, and some enabled features, it lasts for maximum of 4 hours and 30 minutes. There's still some adjustments that I did not change yet, but so far this is actually an incredible result for that kind of settings only. Because most of the time, laptops only last for 4 hours, so this is already good, especially if you're traveling, working outside, or just want to study somewhere without the need of charging. Next one is exporting. I've been creating contents in a format of 1080p 60fps for gaming. The whole editing process for this format is smoothly running without any obstacles. The temperature plays around 60 to 70 while editing, and as for final exporting, it only reaches 80 which is just normal temperature for moderate workload. But the only problem that I see other people or users might encounter is when exporting, again, when exporting only, the fans really go hard and the amount of noise they create could be irritating and might be alarming for sensitive users, but I assure you it's pretty much normal and that's just how it works. The good thing here is after exporting, maybe 10 to 30 seconds, it's just gonna go back to its normal fans working state as well as the sound. Things only get quite rough for me when I started editing 4K videos. The playback somewhat stutters but again, let me repeat that, it's a 4K 60fps file which is just normal considering there are some variables that may affect this kind of processing, including the editing software you are using and fundamentally you really need insane specs to edit 4K files smooth as butter. Next one is gaming. To be clear, this laptop is specifically designed as gaming laptop. If you're gonna compare it to MacBook, it's totally two different things because again, this is a gaming laptop and MacBooks is for creators and obviously, in terms of gaming, this is the thing that you really should consider because you can still do creative stuff with this while having the maximum gaming experience you could have. So Asus Tough F15 has always been fascinating. 1920x1080p is already good enough for high detail graphic games like Elden Ring. And 144Hz of refresh rate is totally fine for competitive games like Valorant that is kind of reliant most of the time to your display's refresh rate for advantages. I haven't really experienced any problems like stutters and lags even while recording gameplays with Nvidia Shadowplay or OBS Studio. It's also good enough to use it as a basic high quality streaming device if you want to share your gameplay to YouTube or Twitch, but I suggest you to get a laptop cooler and elevation stand first if you're gonna do it for long hours. 
The temperature while gaming only reaches around 75 to 87 with a built-in cooling system which they call it as Cooling 2.0 and it's paired with my laptop cooler and stand. No overheating, no temperature related system errors, no problem. About the general temperature, you might experience hitting 90 degrees Celsius especially when you just got your laptop and haven't configured the settings yet. I've been there already and I actually went into panic mode before thinking that the laptop that I bought was actually faulty. But it turns out that somewhat around 90, it's still covered as an okay temperature working state of an Intel processor on a laptop. And those are only temperature spikes for me. Most of the users rely on booting time of a laptop or a PC to check whether it has slowed down over the time. So let's try it. The final question here, is there an issue about Asus Tough F15? And the answer to that is yes, and it's about the Wi-Fi disconnection problem, but the good thing here is, it's already been fixed by Windows 11 update, but still, I'm gonna address it for those people who don't know. To put it simple, there are certain frequent times that the laptop's Wi-Fi will disconnect on its own. The cause is unknown before until it became obvious that it's related to Windows 11 compatibility issue with the Wi-Fi driver version. There are three effective ways to fix it. Number one, Windows 11 update. This permanently fix the problem. Number two, update or roll back your Wi-Fi driver version, which is the most accurate way to fix it before when they haven't dispatched the Windows 11 update that finally fix it. And number three, simply restarting your laptop. If you're a Asus Tough F15 owner and you're still experiencing this even though it's already been fixed, you might want to check out my Asus Tough F15 review after 6 months where I briefly detailed the problem and solutions. So for my advice and tips to people who has or want to buy Asus Tough F15, the most important thing when gaming and editing is getting a laptop cooler and elevation stand. If you're just using it for browsing, watching videos, or writing documents, there's no need for that because it's already silent and it doesn't really heat up that much with those low workload activities. Also, you need to grasp the threshold of your laptop. Example, in terms of temperature, even if it hits 90, it's still fine unless it's accompanied by stutters, lags, freezing, and other errors. It means something's wrong already with your usage and you may need to do some optimization. So my conclusion for this overview of Asus Tough F15 the laptop is working almost perfectly fine just like when I first bought it. Its performance is still amazing and I haven't really experienced system decay over the time. I think it's totally worth the price because I got mine around 50,000 to 60,000 pesos. But actually the original price for this before only ranges around 40,000 to 50,000 pesos or 900 US dollars. It only increased due to the laptop shortage because of work from home setups that were booming before. It also includes some freebies like Asus Tough Backpack and stickers. As for the performance and durability itself, it's way more than what I expected because with that kind of usage for one year, it should have deteriorated the system or physical appearance even for a noticeable dent but it did not really feel like that. So the final verdict here is, I think Asus Tough F15 is one of the best affordable gaming laptops you could get out there up until now. Believe it or not, there's still a lot of people who is buying this because it's one of the few laptops that is really worth your money and it's a win-fair situation. So that's it. If you're interested for more review of laptops, smartphones, technology-related stuff, or maybe you just want to support the channel, make sure to subscribe. That would really help me a lot. And if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and comment your thoughts below about this review. Again, I'm Hermes. Thanks for watching and catch you guys on the next one.